let's talk about sex, baby. Sex and creatine, that is. Can creatine affect men sexually? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Maya Valenti with The Naked Nutrition. I'm a private chef and nutrition coach here to help you better navigate the world of health and wellness. Creatine is one of the most popular fitness supplements out there. Although it's something that you'll commonly find in many muscle building supplement regimens, most people aren't fully aware of all of the benefits of creatine. In fact, creatine has benefits both inside and outside of the gym. One that often raises questions is how creatine may affect men sexually. Let's deep dive and see how it works. So why do people take creatine to begin with? Well, creatine's main function has to do with energy production in the body. Basically, it helps your body speed up energy production. This is helpful during workouts because just as you would usually start to fatigue, creatine facilitates a boost of energy. This benefit is particularly noticeable for anyone doing high intensity workouts like sprints. People also take creatine to enhance muscle building. Creatine raises the muscle building hormone insulin like growth factor one, and it brings water into the muscle to promote more growth. During muscle repair following a workout, creatine plays a role in cell signaling to build more muscle while also preventing some protein breakdown. Outside of the gym, creatine is known to help with focus and productivity. While creatine is helping the cells create more energy for the muscle, it is also helping brain cells create more energy. Studies have found that creatine supplementation can benefit the brain in many ways, including cognitive performance recovery from traumatic brain injury and improved symptoms of neurological disease. But how does creatine work in our bodies? Our body produces its own creatine using amino acids, glycine, arginine, and methionine. In fact, it's possible for your body to fill up 80% of its creatine stores with the help of a protein-rich diet or a creatine monohydrate powder supplement. Creatine bonds to a phosphate group to form creatine phosphate while it's stored in the muscle until it's used in the cycle to make energy. The key player in this cycle is ATP, which fuels nearly every process in the body. In this cycle, ATP loses a phosphate every time it's used for energy and it becomes ADP, which basically sits around and waits to be converted back into ATP. Creatine phosphate donates phosphate to make this happen. So your body can produce more energy, but does it help sexually? When creatine enhances energy production, it has benefits for the entire body. Therefore, one slightly lesser known potential benefit of supplementing creatine has to do with sexual health. Testosterone levels commonly start decreasing for men once they hit the age of 30. With this decrease in testosterone, many men notice decreased endurance, strength, mental sharpness, overall energy, and sex drive. Testosterone is a hormone that regulates sex drive. Therefore, a significant decrease is known to cause decreased sexual desire and even erectile dysfunction. However, studies have shown that taking creatine can increase testosterone levels. One study examines the effects of taking a creatine supplement for the duration of a 10-week resistance training program. Combined with a placebo group, the group of participants taking a creatine supplement experienced greater strength improvements as well as increased testosterone concentrations. Another study involving male rugby players looked into creatine supplementation and levels of DHT, the more active form of testosterone. After creatine loading with 25 grams per day for seven days, the participants' DHT levels increased by 56%. Some men who experience drops in testosterone due to age choose to wear a patch or get injections, but supplementing may be simpler and a much less expensive solution. But are there any downsides? There was a time when the safety of taking creatine for too long was in question, but several studies have found that taking regularly for up to five years is perfectly safe. That being said, there are potential side effects with every supplement that you take. It all depends on the person taking a supplement and the quality of the supplement itself. Some side effects that people experience while using creatine include weight gain, water retention, or gastrointestinal discomfort. However, these side effects are fairly uncommon, and it's also important to consider that some side effects could be caused by unnecessary additives into the supplements. For example, 
Many creatine supplements are flavored with artificial ingredients and sweeteners. These ingredients are known to cause issues such as bloating and stomach upset. Choosing a high quality creatine supplement that is formulated without any additives is one of the best ways to avoid unwanted side effects. When choosing a creatine supplement, make sure to choose a third party tested, 100% additive free option like our Naked Nutrition, Naked Creatine. For more information on our creatine and all of our other high quality supplements, check us out at nakednutrition.com. And make sure to subscribe for more in-depth dives on subjects like this one, because here at Naked Nutrition, we are nutrition with nothing to hide.